Maxims and Reflections, by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Life and Character. 1. There is nothing worth thinking but it has been thought before, we must only try to think it again. 2. How can a man come to know himself? Never by thinking, but by doing. Try to do your duty, and you will know at once what you are worth. 3. But what is your duty? The claims of the day. 4. The world of reason is to be regarded as a great and immortal being, who ceaselessly works out what is necessary, and so makes himself lord also over what is accidental. 5. The longer I live, the more it grieves me to see man, who occupies his supreme place for the very purpose of imposing his will upon nature, and freeing himself and his from an outrageous necessity comma to see him taken up with some false notion, and doing just the opposite of what he wants to do, and then, because the whole bend of his mind is spoilt, bungling miserably over everything. 6. Be genuine and strenuous, earn for yourself, and look for, grace from those in high places, from the powerful, favor, from the active and the good, advancement, from the many, affection, from the individual, love. 7. Tell me with whom you associate, and I will tell you who you are. If I know what your business is, I know what can be made of you. 8. Every man must think after his own fashion, for on his own path he finds a truth, or a kind of truth, which helps him through life. But he must not give himself the rein, he must control himself, mere naked instinct does not become him. 9. Unqualified activity, of whatever kind, leads at last to bankruptcy. 10. In the works of mankind, as in those of nature, it is really the motive which is chiefly worth attention. 11. Men get out of countenance with themselves and others because they treat the means as the end, and so, from sheer doing, do nothing, or, perhaps, just what they would have avoided. 12. Our plans and designs should be so perfect in truth and beauty, that in touching them the world could only march we should thus have the advantage of setting right what is wrong, and restoring what is destroyed. 13. It is a very hard and troublesome thing to dispose of whole, half, and quarter mistakes, to sift them and assign the portion of truth to its proper place. 14. It is not always needful for truth to take a definite shape. It is enough if it hovers about us like a spirit and produces harmony, if it is wafted through the air like the sound of a bell, grave and kindly. 15. General ideas and great conceit are always in a fair way to bring about terrible misfortune. 16. You cannot play the flute by blowing alone, you must use your fingers. 17. In botany there is a species of plants called incomplete, and just in the same way it can be said that there are men who are incomplete and imperfect. They are those whose desires and struggles are out of proportion to their actions and achievements. 18. The most insignificant man can be complete if he works within the limits of his capacities, innate or acquired, but even fine talents can be obscured, neutralized, and destroyed by lack of this indispensable requirement of symmetry. This is a mischief which will often occur in modern times, for who will be able to come up to the claims of an age so full and intense as this, and one too that moves so rapidly? 19. It is only men of practical ability, knowing their powers and using them with moderation and prudence, who will be successful in worldly affairs. 20. It is a great error to take oneself for more than one is, or for less than one is worth.